<laughs> I always say at the end of a ride. I'll turn the camera back on if something interesting happens. <laughs> so I'm going to start this video. Hey, good evening, bikers! Well, I'm just about to finish my ride when something exciting happened. So, buckle up. Here we go. I'm going to roll the intro. And, uh, and, oh. <laughs> always say I'll turn the camera back on here we go roll the intro hey good evening bikers uh, just riding from Renmark towards Paringa I've been here for a couple of days I haven't been riding this is my first ride in South Australia I haven't been out because it's just been pouring over the last few days. So the border opened at uh, midnight on Wednesday night, so I got up at about 6 on uh, Thursday morning because I thought there was just going to be a great line of traffic heading across the border. Well, I left Wentworth this morning at about 7 o'clock and I'm heading towards Renmark. It's about 150 kilometres and about 100 of that's dirt and I've been just taking it easy because the, uh, the base station's not really set up for off-road travels. I don't have I don't have stone guards or any of that sort of stuff on the front of the van or the or the big um, uh, rock tamer mud flaps. Don't have any of that. So I'm just taking it easy, 30, 40 kilometres an hour, and, uh, and now it's started to rain. So <laughs> very grey-looking day in South Australia. I'm actually in South Australia. I'm really looking forward to doing some riding around here. So. Um, uh, stay tuned, uh, plenty coming now from the state of South Australia, BBA in SA. So I just took it really easy, 30, 40 kilometres an hour, and I came through uh, the road on the New South Wales side. Timmy, good job, that was a fantastic bit of road, just freshly graded, and, um, and then the South Australian side, as soon as I crossed into South Australia, it just went uh, so, uh, just a side note, quick side note. This is the Paringa Bridge. It's a it's a lift bridge. You can see the big counterweights up here, so it lifts up it's for the boats. Uh, 1927, that one went in. So I'm going to scarp here, have a look at this marina. There's a really interesting place. So anyway, I came across the border. I got through the, um, they normally have a, a check for um, fruit and veg and that sort of thing, but they were still actually, even though the border was open, all that meant was that there was no need to quarantine anymore, so um, they still wanted, I had to apply for a pass to come in, which I was able to do on the phone while I was sitting there. So if you know anyone that's coming over, tell them they still need yeah, to Yeah, okay, right. That wasn't uh, clear, so SA poll. Poll, yeah. Uh, so click on the first one. Scroll down a little bit. Um, the red one there, yep. complete the form. Okay. Alright, and then scroll right to the bottom. Yep. Keep going, keep going. That's a big that patch. one there, go down. This complete one. form. Oh, awesome. Okay. Thank so you. Alright. Thanks guys, have a good day, see ya. Alright, we're in. We are, well, I've been in South Australia for about 60 kilometres now. <laughs> I mean, I've been in South Australia. Now I'm actually technically in, illegally in South Australia. So there's only about four or five minutes of dirt and then we're back onto the sealed stuff. I'm heading to Renmark, I'm staying at the caravan park there. Uh, so that was good. So I just applied for the pass, it was granted immediately. 
um, and I was allowed into South Australia and, and um, you know, they came through and checked my caravan for fruit and veg. The quarantine um, bin, you know, there, so uh, I've, I had, I was aware of all that, so I'd basically eaten everything <laughs> leading up to coming into South Australia. So anyway, I came in and for the last couple of days it's just been absolutely... Um, well, not, not pouring, but it's just the weather's been cold, like it's 14 degrees now, and it's nearly midday, and it's cold, and it's overcast, but the last couple of days it's just been raining so much. Have a look at these. These are these leisure boats I was talking about in the last videos. How's that? That's sensational. <laughs> Check out some of these things. Look at this one. I don't know if you can see it, lounge room upstairs. Just, there's pretty flash. Anyway, there's a big marina all the way up along there. I'll throw the drone up. Uh, but just the weather's the weather's not great for even droning because it's just wet and um, and and windy, really windy. So anyway, very cool. I can't see myself living on one of those because you you know you basically you're stuck in the Murray River. I, you know, if I was going to live on a boat, I'd want to be able to do some um, blue water stuff. So because the weather has been so bad, I, as I said, I haven't really had the bike out. Uh, I've just been running around in the um, in the car, just familiarising myself with the place. Um, but here's the thing that I've noticed more than anything else: the, the biggest, the biggest difference between this and, as I said, just the other side of the river, just as the crow flies 20 kilometres away, is. Like the other side is still in the desert. You're in the outback. Okay, it's pretty green over there at the moment, but uh, there is nothing there. You know, there's just endless kilometres of of wide open nothingness. And whilst the soil characteristics here really, from what I've seen, don't look that much different. What they've done with them on this side of the river is astounding. So the big difference over this side is is that, and if you have a look on the map, citrus trees, there's, there's orchards of citrus, and there's there's fields of wheat, and there's olive grove. It, like it's, it's so productive over here. Uh, and I don't, I don't, there's obviously something different in the water, uh, different in the, or maybe not the water because it's the Murray River. There's obviously different, some, something different in the soil. There's vineyards here, there's, there's just so much agriculture. And, and we're literally just the other side of the river from, say, where it was at Wampini Station or at Fort Courage there. You know, I, I, I am completely blown away by the difference. Absolutely amazing. So there's a few places up here that I want to go and check out. There's this, supposed to be the lookout on top of the cliff over here. So we'll see if we can go and check that out. So you see I put the GoPro back up here. Um, I actually forgot I had it. So it's a Hero 4. I've been looking at getting the new one, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to try this for a while, see whether or not it's just for B-roll stuff. I'm not doing any um, vlogging or anything into that, into that, and I don't want to have a, like a GoPro on the side of it because it doesn't have a mic jack, even the new Hero 9. No mic jack. I mean, like, what is the point? But uh, howdy to the GoPro. The good thing I do like about the GoPro is that the image quality is really, really good. Um, so that's that's a good thing. Oh, just vineyards. So the good thing I like about the GoPro is the image quality, um, but they've got some interesting settings. Like this one's set on super wide, so you should be able to see 
basically the whole dash cluster and everything here so I'm just going to try that I'm just trying to change things up for you guys so you're just not sick of the same three old uh, angles that I keep providing so anyway that's enough of that I'm going to say battery because I don't think the battery on that one's all that great citrus trees funny is the the height difference you know, I don't know whether you can see it maybe maybe if we get up here a bit more the height difference between this side of the river and the other side of the river um, I mean the geography and, the, and the, the topography here is really interesting Right up there and down there. Let's go uh, up the lookout. is about to die which is probably why I stopped using it memory Turn around or not. <laughs> so 
the colours. That's amazing. All right. So you do it. <laughs> It's starting to rain. <laughs> As it was forecast to do. So just a light shower though. So this camera is not in its waterproof housing so if this continues I'll probably stop and take it off the helmet but we should be okay it's only fairly light let's keep going this way so kind of heading north Really interesting countryside. I'm I'm intrigued. I'm either riding into it or out of it, I'm not sure. Pretty pretty clear up ahead. The Woolshed Brewery. Shed Brewery. Mm. Yes, I might have to uh, come back and visit that when I can get some takeaway. I don't mind um, boutique beers. Where does this go? Sandy and a little bit wet, so that's good. Oops, so it looks a bit muddy. Can you see that? Hang on. Kalal Road. That's the same. Ah, that's the same. Remember we did that trip? We went back to Todd's uh, Obelisk and checked out that other 1993 Obelisk. So if you're coming, if you're coming out to Wampini Station, 
That's Cal Cal Road, it's called C A L or Cal Cal Al. Oh, like Superman Cal Al. And we went past Cal Al Road, which is the entrance to Wampini. And it also, it almost, yeah, let's go that way. roads that's um, got a oh, you are kidding me it's one of those roads that's got a uh, a river in the middle of it this one just happens to be the Murray River which is actually the border but it looks like ha, how funny is that and I just look at the map that actually looks like it is the same road This is so loose. There's no dust, obviously, with a little bit of rain, but it's it, it's a good. Um, uh, I won't say all weather, but um, a little bit of rain on it hasn't hurt it at all. How funny is that, Kalal? And the only reason I remember that is because I went through the exercise of looking up the name of Superman. Which is Cal L, not Kalal. <laughs> but this takes us down to the Wade White Line. Let's go this way. So that's it, that's the border. Entering South Australia through here is prohibited. Closest permitted entry road is Stuart Highway at Yamba. So I'm already in South Australia, so it's okay. So this is, this is the Wade White Line, the South Australian Victorian border. So the last time, last couple of videos I talked about the fact that I was going to tell you about the South Australia and the South Australian border, well, we already know that it's not in the right place, right? We already know that it's not on the 141st uh, Meridian. Hey, look, there's an obelisk that I don't know about. I don't know about that obelisk at all. Gee. That doesn't look like there's any markers or anything on it either. That's definitely on the border. Tell you the story of the South Australian border. I'm going to call this one the BBA obelisk. <laughs> Is there anything on it? Nothing. Geocache. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so if you're into geocaching, there's a, a geocache there. So, well, it's got to be a survey marker is located 0.03 to the right, to the right. So it's, yeah, so it's definitely a, I don't know what the history is behind that. Check that one out. With Google. Okay. So here it is here, here's this Kalal Road intersection with the Victorian border. And we're gonna go south along the border down to the 
Mildura Baringa Road. So this is the Victorian South Australian border. That's it. <laughs> Terrible condition. Build a wall! But I really feel sorry for um, you Victorians. I, I, there's a couple of friends in Victoria and I know they're not coping all that well uh, with the lockdown. Um, and, I, and I really just... I know everyone's trying to do the right thing and they're trying to get the, the COVID numbers down. Uh, she's pretty he heavy handed. Just, you know, try to keep this, keep this channel A political, but uh, boy, it's pretty tough with things like, you know, you can't even put your boat in the river. The river's in New South Wales. Hello. Turning away from the border, the border's a straight line. What's going on here? Fence Road in Queensland. It's not the most exciting riding, I understand that, but you know, I came here to explore, and so there's a bit of road that I've not been on. Sort of crop that is, looks a bit like wheat. See me, no one here. No. Nobody there. <laughs> I probably heard me coming down the fence line. Bikers, that's it. I'll um, see if this is still got any battery left. Up a little bit. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks for coming along. Um, you fellas in Victoria, you just take care of yourselves. I just hope that in some small way the videos I'm making are a little bit of help to you. So, uh, one day you'll be back out, and when you do come to Red Night, you've probably already been, you guys probably ride around here all the time. 
fantastic place. All right, take care of yourselves. And we will talk to you later on. BBA over and out. I just thought I'd pull up here. I want to show you this field over here. Right, oh, that's the cops. Hello. Oh, I better get my permit out. Get it, mate. How are you going? Good, thanks. Just from the police. Yeah. Did you stop at the checkpoint? No, there was no one there. Okay. I've got a permit. I'll just get my permit number. Yeah, that'll be great. Did you make an attempt to stop it at the checkpoint? They just said that you went through it, that's all. Oh no, I slowed down. There was, there was no one in the cars. They were, must have all been in the donger, but I, they would have seen me coming along the fence line. Yeah. So that's my ET number there. All right, it's got your name on that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want my helmet off so I can identify my face. Yeah, you're checking your teeth and you have a little spike on top. Yeah, Roger, stop. Just uh, bona fide now. Um, safe on scene. Um, uh, location. Yeah, we weren't sure what the guy was. We thought, oh, is he going to take off from us? I'm going to wear all this shit, so. Like. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. No, I've been, I've been, uh, Beautiful, thank you. Well, just riding around some of those back roads. It's a fantastic country around here. I like. Where are you from? So, Queensland. Queensland, yeah. 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 Did you know, which way did you come in through? I, I went from Paringa, just did a loop up around Kalal Road and just came down the border and then back going back to Paringa. Oh yeah. Is that where you're camping tonight? Yep. C-A-L-L-A-L. go back to the checkpoint so they can document you basically sign you in. Oh, I didn't come in. I didn't go out. I didn't go out of South Australia. I, so when when the, did you come in? Oh, I came in from Wentworth on th yeah, uh, Thursday morning. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah. I've, that's, that's how I got the permit. But I'm, I'm staying at, like I said, I just rode, I've been in South Australia <laughs> since Thursday. Yeah. I didn't go. I didn't go into Victoria. I stayed this side of the Victorian ah, fence. Ah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I reckon north of. I think you actually when you're on the border track. I think you might be in Victoria there. Border one three two. He goes in and out in Victoria. The border. Border one three two. I just followed. So the, I just followed the border fence road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What they want you to do is go in three yeah. checkpoints. Sure. Well, I so, didn't. I didn't go out to come here. Yeah. So. I get what you're saying, but, but I figured they. I figured the reason they didn't come out was because I, they saw me come up along the fence line. So. Technically, the border is on the, is on the 141st meridian. Was that sorry? Yeah, down there, like. In and out, depends yeah, on where you are. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't, I, I stayed on the border fence road, yeah. which is this side of that fence line. Yep, that's and right. So, as far as I'm concerned, I didn't leave South Australia. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, have you got that 18 number, mate? Yeah, 6477.
What's your plan now? You just heading back there or are you going for a scrap? No, no, I'll finish. I'm going to go back and chop off a video, I think. Good <laughs> luck, eh? Sure, a couple more hours yet for us. So. <laughs> what year is this one? Uh, 17. Yeah. They still hold their value pretty well. I've seen a couple for sale down in Adelaide. Okay. But um, I was still pricey. So yeah. yeah. Oh, great, great. I mean, good, really good for long distance off road stuff, which is why I got it. Yeah. So, you know, this this sort of stuff here, the, 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 the dirt roads are just dirt roads. You know, there's nothing yeah. technical about it. Um, you can go down fair, though, like I said, you're going in there <coughs> on the track. Well, like I said, I was going to follow the border fence. I saw the guys that I know. There's probably enough. I'm looking at the weather going, yeah, I've already been rained on a couple of times. So. Yeah, no, it's today. Is the, um, the border track still open, isn't it? It's not actually shut. The, I think some parts are shut. Well, I've, yeah. I've just ridden all the way from Talal Road all the way down. Yeah, I think um, you'll find most of the border track is still open. You can, yeah, you can ride yeah. on I, I was yeah. When I was staying at Wentworth on the other side of the river, I was riding up and down the border track over there, no problems at all. Um, so when did you check in at Wentworth? Thir went Thursday morning. Thursday, so two days ago. Yeah. So it opened Wednesday night, midnight Wednesday night, right? Yeah. yeah. So I came in Thursday morning. Changes on an hourly basis at times? No, no, no. Well, they, they opened the South Australian border to New South Wales. Yeah. Mid midnight on Wednesday. I came in 7 o'clock Thursday morning. Yeah. Uh, I'll just check with them to make sure you don't have to go back up sure, there and do anything. Sure. So, yeah. well, like I said, I didn't, I didn't leave. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm trying to ask about what he has I'm doing. He walked out of um, the border fence road and headed into SA. Um, stand by. Mm. Roger, I've got his ET number indicated and checked in on Thursday morning. Wednesday, yeah, Thursday morning. Um, yeah. Through He's staying at Baringa, um, indicated he's just been out riding today, but hasn't gone before. Roger. Are you able to ride back just yeah, to the yeah, checkpoint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got a lot more access to computers. No, it? no, that's fine. Um, just, uh, alright. Yeah. You're not making the rules. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Alright. Um, I'm assuming all they might do is probably just... Sure, sure. Okay, so. Yep. Alright, thank you for your patience. Oh. Have fun riding, eh? <laughs> Back, you? Yeah, I got everything. Yep. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. Right, eh? Well, you heard all that. I've got to go back to the checkpoint. <laughs> I'm going to leave all the cameras and everything running because I'll turn that one off, save that battery. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, go back to the border and I'll put the cameras and everything back on then. <laughs> I always say at the end of a ride Turn the camera back on if something interesting happens. <laughs> well, here comes the relief squad. Good mate, self. Oh, really? <laughs>
You'll have a few missed calls on your phone as well. Oh, okay. All right, yo, <laughs> I'm causing a bit of a hullabaloo. <laughs> Kalal. Yeah, and then just came out of there and up through to Kalal Road to here to the intersection and down. I didn't even leave South Australia.